Welcome to the old house. It's my pleasure to help you come over the threshold and be one of our special guests and to tell you a little bit about the significance of this house, which is a national treasure. The beams, the siding, especially the fireplace, everything is pretty much original. Now, uh, wide floorboards, all, all original. We, pardon, pardon, yes. One of the things I do point out with both the front door and this side door, because this is the kitchen, although we officially call it the keeping room, that big oven in the back, that's where they did their baking. And uh, this is a magnificent, this is now like a piece of steel. But they hung their pots and pans, as you can see, and adjusted them depending on the fire height and, and so forth. And again, all these utensils and so forth came from local families. Most of this stuff has been here since 1940. Very rarely do we find anything new that we bring in. But is that oak? Yes. Is that oak? Yes. God, the size of that. And I'll show you the one on the inside, because those are all signs of wealth of Mr. Bud. This is all original. The wood, even. Now, here, now, see these strap hinges? Those are all original, the little pieces of leather around them. Another sign of wealth, this paneling. See this butterfly design? That's all hand-carved. Even when it was used as a barn, this was here. You can, you know, it's not been refinished. So, here again, this is this is security of the day. But I I love look at look at this little design on this piece of metal that holds the wood. I mean, that's fascinating. Today we had just a plain old piece of metal. Again, the hinges, the curved header, the design on the door. Hello. Again, a magnificent room, but there are two things we point out here, and they're both pretty much the same, but this beam is called now a summer beam, although it really, that's a takeoff on SUMA, S-U-M-M-A, meaning the biggest, the best, the largest, and so forth, because this is the largest beam in the house, as is, that one is a little shorter, but it's a little deeper. This is a sign of the wealth of Mr. Budd, because as you, being an Englishman, he came under English law, and English law said that any large tree over a certain size, to cut it down, you had to have the approval of the British Navy, because it was these large pieces of wood that made the masts and the spars of the British warships. So he had to get approval to cut down the trees to make these beams. And we're leaving this room kind of this way for the tour on Saturday so people can see what it was like when it was rough and ready. Now you can see when we did the work, we had significant rot. You can see where the rain came in, the water came in under those windows. So we had to have some new siding. But I point out here the timber work in each corner. You'll see how these all come down 
into this corner piece and how it, and this is called a gun stock um, way, but in this projects out here to catch that beam coming down. So this, these corner beams are holding the weight of most of the house, and of course the two on the other side. But here you can see the pegs, no nails. Uh, these are all, all these holes were pegged. And at one time, this room was plastered, and that they, when they restored it, they left that plaster there to show. But again, look at the wall, that's paneling. That fireplace is also curved. And another closet on the right end. Again, an old handle. Watch your step here. There so is this go. where the gun stock? That's yeah, there it is. Tim just fired out the window. <laughs> See, he, he sat on an uh, on assessor. An <laughs> assessor. See, he sat. He sat here. And if we open that, oh yeah, there's that Korchog Indian all painted up out there. Get him. But to our knowledge, as I said, the Korchogs were very friendly. Especially because the white man gave them fire water, which was their downfall. The Korchogs, right. they just drank themselves to death. And uh, do you know where Indian Neck is in Peconic? Across, well, across from... Uh, What's the winery there in just east of Peconic? Osprey's Osprey Dominion. Dominion. That was part of what was originally an Indian reservation because as the white man moved out here from around Fort Korchog and here around the old house, the white man said, oh, we're moving you. So they set aside property on Indian Neck where they moved all the Indians. And by the late 1600s, maybe the early 1700s, but I think the date comes to mind in the 1790s, Korchog Indians were gone. They, they were kaput. Disease and such? Yes, exactly. Oops. Between fire water and diseases. European introduced diseases. This window frame was found right here in this wall in 1940 when they restored the house. And it was from this window, because you can see it, this is the same as it is in the bigger windows, that they designed the windows that we have now. So the windows that we have now match this design. But the, this is some of the original signing, siding, some of the original na rose nails. Wow. And that's a very interesting as well as valuable piece of history. Now, this is the stairway to the third floor, or the attic. And it's interesting because it splits. You can go on either side. But it kind of is built around that massive chimney. But all of this is original. This was never restored. Is this common to have the both ways, or is that another? It is not common, no. Most, most houses would have just had one straight stairway. Now, it is somewhat common on this floor to come around from the first floor to the second floor with a turn in the stairway. You want to go upstairs? Yeah. Yes, I do. That's good. Yeah. If I fall down, please Don't catch, fall down. Please catch me. I will. I'm glad I'm doing this. I'm not sure I should let people come up here. Yeah, I don't think you should. Maybe just let them look at the picture. Look or look up word. Okay, here we are. 